Yo, what's going to family and welcome back to another video. How you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing great and today bring you guys another player review. Bring you guys the 9-3 overall tight end team of the year. Tyler Eifert of the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's check out the back of this card. The guy is 6'6", six 89 speed, 78 strength, 74 run blocking, 95 catch, 91 release. 85 route running, 93 catching the traffic, and 96 spectacular catch. I would check out that guy's attributes, some attributes that stand out to me. That this guy is 6'6", six six, with 89 speed, great speed for a tight end, I think, for this stage of Madden Ultimate Team. I primarily use this guy in the seams and uh, to block. As you guys can see throughout the highlights of this card, I primarily use him up the seams and in the flats, and he did an effective job for me. And he has decent run blocking with 74 run blocking and 72 run blocking strength. He held his blocks pretty well. Whenever I ran the ball on his side of the field, I never worried about him getting block shed or anything like that. And he does a very good job for me. I really enjoyed this card. I was looking for a new tight end, and I was waiting for Team of the Year. And Team of the Year is finally came out, and Tyler Eifert is the Team of the Year card. I thought it would probably have been Gronk, but he'd probably get a different card in the future, as he did get the Football Outsiders. But I really enjoyed this card. Decent speed. He has the speed to get around linebackers who are in the middle of the field patrolling. A lot of people run cover three and cover two. Whenever you see that, I like to go down the middle of the field, as you guys can see here. I mean, he did drop it there. But whenever I saw that, I tried to go down the middle of the field with him, and I got good catches with him. He has 93 catches in traffic, which I think should be a little bit higher. There were occasions where I threw the ball up the middle and he did drop it. As you guys can see out the gameplay, he does drop a little balls when his contract around him. That's a little downside to him, but other than that, he does really good catching animations. One play you will see when I did like a wheel route with him, he made an amazing one-handed grab. It was crazy, and he done it again in another gameplay. Unfortunately, I didn't have the footage. I didn't record that gameplay. This is the one-handed guy I'm talking about right here. That is an amazing animation that I get with him constantly. So when you get this card, you're going to get that animation a lot, and you're going to really enjoy this card. I could definitely recommend this guy for you. Anybody who wants this card, a new tight end, goes for about 100k, a little bit less now that team of the year has been in packs for a while and the collectibles are getting a little bit cheaper. So I could definitely recommend this guy for you guys who's looking for a new tight end. He is probably the best tight end who goes for under 150k. Other tight ends that you could probably go for is Gronk if you got a million coins and uh, Tony G, again, if you have close to a million coins that you're willing to spend. And I really enjoy this guy. So to give you guys my opinion about our overall rating, I have to give this guy an 8 out of 10. Really good card. Definitely recommend to anybody who's looking for a new tight end and ultimate team. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace.